Hey, Ela, you look beautiful. And there's Lena who's driving Ela because she had to take off fat Valium. How are you feeling, Ela? Did you feel that Valium? Yeah, um, a little bit. I felt a little bit like comfortable getting like, like, okay, let me lean back. Okay. You know, it's like, you're, you just feel kind of like comfortable. It's a, the body is relaxed. And are you still under the effect of some kind of, you seem like a little bit under the effect potentially of something. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, good. And so how did it go? So it went super fast and super well, they said. They said it was fast and sometimes it could take longer for some people. I don't know why. And um, it was cool. They showed me, like, I sent pictures to you guys in, in WhatsApp. I saw it, yeah. So they showed me, I showed they it. showed me a picture of the embryo itself. So that's what, the, the other one. Oh, there's another one? Not this one, the other picture. Oh, here. Oh, crazy. This looks crazy. Did you have it? Yeah, I've got it right here. Okay. So this picture, that's our baby. That's our baby? <laughs> <laughs> that's the embryo that they just put back in. And then in the other picture, if you go back to that. That's an AA4 uh, embryo, if I've ever seen one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's beautiful, I can already tell. She's so pretty. Yeah, she's a perfect princess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's gorgeous. <laughs> so here's the other one. Is this the one? Because it looks the same, but. So then, the, yeah, those are the same. And then if you go to the other picture, the, the other one that you just had open before. Oh, this one. Yeah. The dark one. With the arrow. Yeah. Yeah. So that they showed me live, like through the ultrasound when they put it back in. And so that one little dot, the white dot, that's that. And so what's our timeline looking like? So we're going to know on Friday if it worked or um, or before that? Yeah. from No, not before. From what I understand, next Friday would be the pregnancy test. Oh, shit. And they said that like home pregnancy tests are not accurate. So they do a blood one. Crazy. <laughs> Is it, it's too late to turn back now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. I think that's it. And um, Ela, I don't know if you knew this, but according to Fresh and Fit, we are close to divorcing because you're exercising. Have you seen that? <laughs> well, I, now they told me I shouldn't exercise for a little while. They said at least until you hear a heartbeat. Okay. Like the marriage safe. Marriage safe. So, there it is. Okay. Yeah, you're safe. Record catch. <laughs> Marriage saved. We're back, baby. We're back. Now, Ela, I have to ask you, just because I, I need to ask, are you exercising so that you can return to the uh, the sexual marketplace? Uh, no. Okay, there it is. I, honestly, I, I haven't watched their video yet. There it is. Ela says no. No, I, I haven't watched their video yet, but... For me, exercising was because after the second pregnancy, my stomach, like, and listen, I know people don't want to hear me talk about it because I, I'm thin. I get it. But my stomach was kind of like wobbly. It was kind of like jello. And so I wasn't super comfortable with that. And I just, I wanted to feel like, I wanted to tone my body. I wanted it to be like, I don't know. Right. They it can't. Just, they, it was my you, own personal journey for myself, really. Yeah, they, they can't conceive that, uh, unfortunately. Because they'll never have kids or <laughs> wife. Or a wife. Or a relationship at all, really. Yeah. Well, um. But also, it started from me having back pain. There's so many yeah. reasons. And ever since I started exercising, I just feel better. Like, my body feels better. But yeah, the last thing I'm thinking about is male attention when I'm exercising. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I can trust her opinion on this. I heard Fresh and Fit give a different... A, a, and balding, they're, they're a balding middle-aged single man said otherwise, so... He's a professional on the topic of women. Hey, Ela, what's for dinner? What are we going to eat? Um, yeah, I think we should celebrate. Oh, yeah, we'll celebrate. With, not with drinks. I can't drink alcohol anymore. And the, the worst part about it is only one coffee a day now. Oh, that's oh. killer. That That is and killer. I, I, do like, I do like four... Maybe more sometimes. So. so what are you feeling? Probably Italian. That's what he, he always wants Italian food. No, I've kind of been off the Italian. Okay. Lately. 
Well, I'm very excited. I mean, my God, a third Klein baby. That is just, that's a lot of babies. Now, Ela, would you change the topic a little bit? Would you be opposed if I invited Seaman to use our studio space on the weekend to shoot a gay pornography film? <laughs> Hope you say no, because he yeah. already did. I, I saw it. I don't know how I feel about it. I saw that you said you would ask me if you asked him if he would clean up after him. He said yes, of course he would. C Man would never leave. It's not like C Man would ever jizzed all over a public tiny bathroom on an airplane. I mean, he cleaned it up. We might need to create like a guy Dexter kind of like. Dexter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can put like That's a hot. tarp down. That's for hot. Him. They can yeah. role play as Dexter. But I like the idea of having like Infobrand or someone fly down to film it. I mean, come on. That's fucking iconic. It's not porn. It's, People are correcting me. It's not porn. It's just feet worship. Okay. Yeah. But there is like ejaculation. Uh, <laughs> so we can negotiate on that probably. Although it doesn't sound like he has much control. He told us that yeah. he jizzed in his pants in a grocery store. <laughs> just by looking, just looking at looking someone's at somebody, feet. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Just an opportunity. I, I don't. I thought it may be an opportunity for us to uh, expand. Um, I don't know. <laughs> All right. So, uh, well, congratulations. I'm very, very excited. <laughs> and uh, next Friday we'll know. I just thought your future child is probably going to want to know the first time they were mentioned on the show <laughs> and watch this and see. <laughs> You can see that transition right there. That's, that's special. Well, <laughs> that's what they're born in. Seaman's pretty, or Seaman is pretty wild. Like, going in that tiny bathroom, and, like, I know he wiped it up, but knowing there was, like, jizz all over the countertop is so gnarly to me. I think you could pretty much assume that in most public bathrooms. Just, just jizz over. everywhere? Mm -hmm. Not not Seaman specifically, yeah, but yeah. just... In general, maybe he Who does knows? get around. Yeah. He, he's, definitely, he's all over the country. Yeah, he changed the way that I'm going to live my normal life after <laughs> that. I'm afraid to wear sandals without socks now. Holy shit! Right. I feel like Ethan mostly afterwards will be super paranoid about every little stain in the <laughs> office. Like, yeah, it, it, the you're the clean up. freak. You're it's the funny. one who needs to wash his hands all the time. It's funny. Everyone will be like, "Yo, is that calm? We don't know." Is that a coffee or is it a cum stain? See, man, did you come on Dan's desk? <laughs> It'll be like a whole adventure every every time we find a stain. There it is. Okay, you guys drive safe, and uh, I'll see you soon. All right. And thank you, Lena, for taking good care of her. Yeah. <laughs> All right, love you. See you. See you soon at home. There. Yes, uh, Have right. a good weekend, everybody. Good weekend, everybody. Wee. Thank you. Shout out to uh, ISIS. Seaman. Dan. Seaman. To uh, Dan. Is is another kind of prolapse. Milk. Bro, bro.